Hey everybody, welcome back to the second part of our second case of extended series. Gonna go ahead and just kind of go through it pretty quickly again as kind of the last one where we're just kind of ripping through the pack, sorting as we go along. Again, a lot of this is just kind of recording in case we get some sick boxes and kind of want to highlight them, but for the most part, it's always fun just to open up cards, kind of go through the set, talk hockey, kind of talk whatever's going on in the world, so yeah. And again, if you missed the first part, that first box was an absolute beauty. Uh, one of the best boxes we've opened. So, well, the best box we've opened so far. Granted, it's only been 13, but or 14, but uh, Forster. Well, there's Mr. Fantilli and a Jonathan Huberto canvas for the Flames. All right. Good start. Some base cards. Yeah, I'm really liking the new format too for Series 1, Series 2, and Extended. It's just a little bit more fun to open up, in my opinion. Silver Skates, Gold of Dylan Larkin, Seeing Red of Matty Beneers, and Crosby on the Retro. These retros don't have quite the same weird texture as the other ones. Uh, the Silver Skates, Gold, you get about, I think it's three or so per case, something like that. So they're a little bit more common, but not like, or a little bit more uncommon, but not the Biggest difference. Outburst Young Guns, I think maybe. Silver Skates of Jack Hughes? No, it is not. It is just the Brinkat, who is falling to the side. And an Angus Crookshank, again, one of the best names on the Young Guns. But nice Fantilli in this box. I mean, honestly, probably standworthy, but at the end of the day, like. We're going to leave the stuff that's up there that's up there right now. Uh, Jack Hughes on the triple diamond. Will Cooley on the retro. And Patrick Line. Where will Patrick Line end up? I mean, who knows? By the time you see this video, because this video is going to be eight days from a re release day. So it's going to be next Thursday. It'll be after the draft. So who knows? There's a chance he ends up somewhere. If I'm going to call my shot, I'm going to say he ends up like and maybe like a San Jose type team where he's gonna get playing time and have a chance to rebuild. His value a little bit. Matthews, nice for the uh, Leafs. Connor Zary and Connor Zary. But yeah, if I'd call my shot, it'd be like a team that can afford to take on his salary or a team like, you know, maybe Vancouver where it's like Mikheyev heading back for him. Um, so they're offloading some salary type of situation. We got a fluorescence here. Right wing, Forrester, yep, Forrester. At least do have a print line issue on them. Uh, they are a bit more of like a case hit style card. Uh, Dazzlers of Malkin, and then um, Jake Ottinger Beehive. But they're cool. The Bedard red one will look sick. The one thing I'm sad is that there's no fluorescence of Bedard. Cause like that card would have gone pretty, pretty hard. Uh, Evangelista on the rookie gems. Sure, why not? Another Fantilli. And a Connor Zary canvas right behind it. Sure. Uh, so as we were mentioning in the first case, the good thing about having a really bad run of young gun canvases in a case, because Connor Zary was our best one, and I think we legitimately hit the five worst ones after that, um, is the fact that it probably means they're not as like specifically collated as they were um, previous years, which means they're just like, you know, no more spread out and kind of you can get whatever. So you can have an insanely hot run where, like, hey, maybe you get Fantilli, Zeri, Bedard all in the uh, the same case, which would be cool. Mintikov, Troy Terry, and Peltier. I think this Peltier is probably just going to be like a binder card, but we will see. Kind of going to have to go through and sort them later today. All right. Let's see what's up here. Ooh, we got special forces coming up here. It's blue. It's Austin Matthews. Really like that they went with the team color approach there. Devin Levi and Connor Zary. I like these special forces. They're pretty cool cards. Just again, just the little attention to detail in this set. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Really not much more to say. I, I appreciate the little things. Uh, Kachuk, Crevier on the young gun, and John Tavares. That's also a pick that goes hard. 
I don't know. There's something about just like walking down the tunnel, like those shots that just, they look sick. Just so like, yeah, I've made it. I'm a big deal at this point type of thing. That'd be one of the coolest feelings in the world and getting to do that for like a thousand plus games. Oh, jealous. Malkin on the pink dazzlers, Gretzky on the scene red and Maddie Beniers. So I do like those scene reds. They are kind of cool. The pink dazzlers, we got three in the first case, which is kind of uh, only supposed to get two, but I'll take three. I'm not going to complain. Uh, I got Levi again, Connor Bedard. Let's go on the hollow view and Ridley Gregg. I like these hollow views. I think they're really cool cards. Really, really cool cards. They did a real like again, they did. I would like to see some more like unique original concepts into like the scene reds are cool and stuff like that, like more stuff like that. But the fact that they did the retros and they look that nice. Um, I'll, I'll give it a pass, so. All right, here we go. Oh, six. Here we go. Let's see what's in store here. Devin, oh, this one's really messed up. It's actually, I think it's actually, uh, it'll require some saving, but I think it just didn't get cut completely. So, and yeah, it just didn't get fully cut. So it's actually gonna peel completely off, I think. Yeah, so gotta be a little bit careful with that guy. Ridley Gregg and Kyle Connor. Feels like, yeah, we did just pull the Greg. But that is always, always, always the problem with die cut cards. They are uh, a little bit more prone to stuff like that. Seeing red silver spectrum of Matt Boldy with a Marcel Dion behind it and a Semeskevich for the Panthers. Semeskevich, I think is technically the correct pronunciation. I mean, hey, we're happy with the first box of this video, the Fantilli Young Guns and the Retro. Uh, I got a Bedard insert, which you always take Bedards. Um, be nice to get like one cool highlight pull. Luke Hughes, Anthony Duclair on the outburst, and a Savoy. Nice Young Gun there for the Sabres. I do find it also weird. This other thing I will count at the end of this is how many Young Guns and... Uh, first round picks that we got because it seemed like we got one extra in the uh well, we did get one extra compared to the odds in the first case so i'm not complaining about that uh new hook on the single diamond zach benson on the rookie and carter hart uh yeah anyways on to the next pack that was not a good one i mean i like the benson beehive those are a little bit tougher to get but uh robertson with a Stutzla, okay, well, yep. Seems like up and down the boxes are generally pretty like consistent with their young guns, but Savoy and Fantilli in the, uh, in the same box. Two of the best young guns that you can get. So we're gonna have lots of, if you're an Adam Fantilli fan, our store is gonna have lots of them. <laughs> oop, 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 center. Let's go, Connor Bedard Holographics Gold. Let's go. Case hit card of Connor Bedard. All right, that gets rid of that retro young guns. Honestly, I think it bumps the outburst to the side too. We go like, boom, boom. Another case hit Connor. Let's go. Two straight videos. Oh, that is so good. I'm so happy I decided to record these. Uh, Jack Hughes and Cole Caulfield, but like, come on. That holographics gold of Bedard. Let's go. A little bit of a line through it, but I don't care. It looks pretty. It looks pretty. All right. Next box. Fantilli again on the triple diamond. And then we got a Matthews and a Timo Meyer. 
It wasn't really Teemo time this year, was it? Kind of struggled. Ooh, Fantilli decided to just go lie down. Nice, uh, nice Fantilli there. Let's make sure I put that card a little bit more centered on the packs. All right, Silver Skates of Kaprizov, Taylor Hall, and Pospisil. I didn't really fully finish <laughs> editing the video today, and it uh, didn't really fully finish my thoughts on him. I think he's a fine player. He's got a lot of concussion history, though, and he plays a style that should, like, he doesn't fight because of his concussion issues, but, like, the amount of bad hits and dirty plays that he makes is just kind of inexcusable. So he, I feel like he's just going to get absolutely destroyed one day and it's going to be like, oh, career's kind of over type of thing. Abel for the Red Wings on that. Ridley Gregg on the Hollow View and Marchand on the Beehive. So, like, a player like him with his kind of like skill set, I would normally give a C plus to, but I'm just a little bit worried about his longevity because of, you know, all the stuff that we just mentioned. Askarov, Tyson Forrester, and Mitch Marner. Ooh, that's a nice Mitch Marner one. Got the whole Miami Vice look going on there. Leafs fans, how you feeling? Hey, maybe by this time Marner's traded. Maybe he's uh, in Utah. I'd laugh if I like close the video and sure enough, he's traded. Um, case it style card. We'll put that like there. Sure. Cool stuff. All right, two packs to go. Two packs to go. Let's see what else we have in store. Deluxe of Marino to 250, Jonathan Marcheseau and Devin Levi. I guess Marcheseau is also a free agent, so. Another numbered card. That puts us at what? Four so far? Yep. One per, or three, one per box. Sorry, or not one per box, but close to. All right. Uh, Kempa, Zegris, and Edstrom. So we got the uh, Young Gun Deluxe of earlier. So, all right. Uh, another fun couple of boxes here. Another case hit, Connor Bedard. Um, a couple more Bedard inserts in general. Got a couple Fantilli Young Guns. But I mean, hey, out of these boxes, anytime you get a case hit Bedard, you're uh, you're gonna highlight that. So, really cool looking card. Yeah. All right. See you tomorrow for the next two parts. Take care.